This is where the traditional nomadic Yuruk people still roam, in these mountains in the south of Turkey, in a remote area of plains and pine trees. A young family is setting up their home, a tent made up of traditional fabrics and wooden poles. You have to line up the poles or the tent won't be stable. The tree bark is still on them and the thick outer fabric is made of sheep's wool. The family uses an assortment of rugs on the ground for their floor. I couldn't live shut inside a house or a flat. I wouldn't feel free. The name Yeruk comes from the Turkish to walk, a reference to this ethnic minority's nomadic lifestyle. Throughout the Ottoman Empire and the birth of modern Turkey, their ever-changing home was their one constant. Yeruks are the guardians of the mountains. We protect its joy. These nomadic herders have lived in tents for generations and relied on camels to get around. They breed sheep for their milk and wool, and they're still milked by hand to this day. Look, I push with my thumb and then I pull with all my fingers to squeeze out the milk. You have to do it without hurting her. I milk faster than a machine. <laughs> the community is scattered throughout the mountains, but they all lead their sheep to higher altitudes to graze. Yeruks take pride in their flock. It's thanks to them that they are able to weave carpets and colourful clothing, an ancient skill. The grandfather of the family even plays his flute for them. The animals listen to me. They also need music. They perk up when they hear me. I tell them which way we need to go with my playing. But these herders are no longer welcome in these mountain ranges. Some landowners have fenced off their properties, blocking the way. They say our animals damage wooded areas and crops. They don't want us around. Only a few hundred Yeruk are still nomadic, as younger generations opt for modern comforts over cold winters and hot summers in a tent. We have three children, and I hope at least one of them will keep up the tradition. They love animals, so at least one of them will live as we do. The love of nature so central to this people's culture can also be seen in this embroidery. These small flowers that line the edges of this headscarf are inspired by local blooms. Come the autumn, the family will travel back down to the valley with their flock. Mm -hmm.